Well, hello and welcome back to another video. So, hope you're doing alright. Hope everything's going well with you. Hello. So, today we're going to be having a look at a mission for Mass Effect. Now, with the missions, I'm just going to keep it very mission-based because there's so much in this game. It's my mind-blowing. My, my brain is already exploding. So, I'm just going to just going to try and keep it simple. So, you have your missions, you have your assignments. Now, missions are your story missions. It's definitely you want to do these. But... When, if you play this game, this is more for new people, by the way. Like, I know everyone else knows how to play this, who's played it before. But like, uh, so uh, assignments are really important. Uh, they're your side missions. They're ones that you really, really want to do. Um, and they can help you with, with XP, money, everything. Like, I highly recommend do as many side missions as you can. They may seem long at first, but they're actually really fun. And you can really get into them and they, they actually give you great rewards in the end. But what we're going to have a look at is this one. We're going to have a look at Rogue Six. Now, I haven't done this yet, but I like the look of it because um, I saw what it consists of. So, a Rogue Six has taken over an Alliance training ground located on Earth's moon. Alliance Command needs you to eliminate the VI. So, engage VI. Head to the Soul System in the local cluster and deal with a Rogue Six on Earth's moon. Now, I, I, just, I just thought this was, I was... I was wondering what mission to pick, and I thought... This is close to home, so this will do. So here we come to this baby. So this is our amazing Milky Way galaxy. Uh, oh God, sorry, I was on a different. Play. No, let me go. Sorry, back, 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 back. Okay, this is the amazing Milky Way galaxy. Now there is no way I'm going to explain everything about all this lot because it's too, it's literally just that for another video we can do all that lot, but. Uh, it's amazing. You, you, yeah, you've got the Milky Way galaxy. You've got all these various like star systems, and I mean, it's, it's. I mean, it, uh, planets and everything. I mean, there's so much, so many things that you can do. Uh, and but for this mission, for the purposes of this mission, we're just we're going to go to this one, which is the local cluster. The local cluster is the Sol system, Sol, you know, solar system. That's that's ours. That's where we all live. So we go in there, travel to another system. Yes, please. Oh, oh, this bit's very loud, by the way. Uh, what's this? This is be... Ow! Headphones, sorry. Ow, that really hurt. Oh, <laughs> that is a... Ow. Uh, but yeah, um, so... Uh... Yeah, so when once you once you reach a, a, a star system, you you know you go and you've got, I mean you you know you'll recognise all this, you know my very easy method and all that, the like planets here we go everything, um, but you know you got you guys, uh, you know you know you know these uh, these are, are very familiar planets. These are our planets, and but it's all you know it's 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 all kind of it's quite fictional within the parameters of the game so for example if you look at mars like once considered a uh, colonization uh, you know it's all, it's all like futuristic and it's fictional so you know don't take any of this as fact <laughs> but it's um yeah it's all part in the parameters of the game and um so it's pretty cool and and so yeah there, there are various planets that you can go to you can visit and you can explore but what we're going to do for this mission there's earth there's our lovely earth look at it Earth's going to look like that one day yay <laughs> no, um, but it's cool. We're not going to Earth. For this mission, uh, we're going to Luna, which is the moon. Um, there we go. Luna. Our oh, mine for blah, blah, blah. So, it's, yeah, years in the future in this in this amazing game. We're going to land. Uh, it's so cool. You can literally, you know, it's, it's an exploration game. And, you, you know, you go around different planets. And, and they're quite... Uh, you know, the, you do get a sense of landing on another world, and another is they've done a really good job with it. Oh, let's pick our team. Uh, we'll discuss characters in another video, but for now, we'll just run with it. Um, but you do get friends with you. Go on, let's have these two. Uh, yeah, you land. Uh, it always has a cool cutscene like this. I always love things that have cutscenes where you move, uh, loading screens where you kind of move and stuff like that. I always, and stuff happens. I always, I always like that in a game. But. Uh, with this one, yeah, we just picked. I thought it would be a good one to pick uh, because, uh, oh, um, but yeah, I didn't want to. I didn't want to mess around explaining all the other stuff about the game because we'll be here until the sun explodes. Pun intended. Uh, destination unknown. So we'll go here. This is the amazing Mako, where it's our vehicle that we take. I'm going the wrong way. 
that you drive around. So whenever you land on any planet, you can get in this bad boy and you drive around. A little bouncy thing. Giant steps. Oh, oh no! Actually, no, no! Don't, don't sing lyrics in the video. It's actually bad. It, it can screw you over. Don't, don't do real lyrics. Um, and yeah, so I mean, this, this is literally your best friend when you're riding around, riding around, running around, driving around. Uh, it can get you to anywhere you need to go. It's great on terrain. You can actually, you can actually go up. Oh look, there's the Earth. Hello, Earth. What up? You can actually go up on any of these. Uh, it's really good on terrain. And uh, yeah, so Mass Effect, I mean, I've been playing so much of this and I really like it. The game is fantastic. Uh, as you know, if you saw any of the things that I said before, I had played a tiny bit of the first one before and a little bit of Andromeda and I absolutely, you know, I, I really enjoyed it, but I just couldn't get into it on my PS3 and it was, it was Anyway, you've heard me say that a million times probably. So like, just, I really, really managed to get into it now. Finally, I was waiting for a release like this to actually really get down to the nitty gritty. So I'm new to people, so I don't think some diehard fan is going to tell you, well, actually, I think we'll find that Master Effect 4 was the best. Because, you know, I, I actually, you know, I'm, I'm a newbie myself. So this is, this is, the video is more for people who are kind of new to it, but also I hope, you know, that you love it too, even if you're a diehard fan. I, my electronics, see, my electronics is skills too low because I didn't bring a, comp I have got a companion who's my electronic companion, but I didn't bring him with me. God damn it. But it's all right. You know what? Don't worry about it. I think it's going to be fine because, oh, what all right, I'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. In general, actually, that's a good tip. Let's use this as a lesson. So when landing, maybe make sure you've got a good, someone who can decrypt and who can, who's got good electronics on your team. These are more my fighters because I was expecting trouble. But it's always good to have someone like that with you. Oh yes, you can exit the vehicle, as you saw. Look, yeah, look, you can run around. And yeah, there's no, obviously, we're not floating and it's weird. You're like, what? Well, I think you're fine than in the moon, you won't be able to run. But actually it's because uh, I think, you know, this is a fictional world set years in the future. And they've probably got gravity bubbles, gravity things, atmospheric shells, whatever you call them. All that sci-fi mumbo jumbo. Uh, Alliance training ground, this is where we're going to go for our mission. So yeah, you land on a on a planet or a moon, and they always look fairly good actually. They always kind of look like the, like this. No, well, not like this. Obviously, this is the moon, so it's quite familiar for people. But uh, and this thing is great. Look on, look at it on the terrain. It's amazing. Sometimes it struggles, but there's there's little ways of getting around that. But look, it can it can it can go through a lot. This thing. Uh, and they did update it from the PS3 version and the older versions. Uh, the, I mean, because this Mass Effect game that they made is, is it's a love letter for the fans of old and it's an introduction and an open invitation to fans of the new. I technically uh, see myself as a fan of the new because I never played Mass Effect 2 or 3 and I never finished one and I only did the bare bones of Andromeda. So this is honestly, you know, a you know, big thanks to, to Carmen and Nick who initially uh, mentioned uh, about this game. I always wanted to play it. I just couldn't get into it on my all works. So, uh, so a first bit of combat Okay, so Wait, wait, no, where is that? Okay, so there's this trouble ahead red is always your enemy. Oh, yeah with your map as you know you, Yeah, sorry. I just I didn't even explain. Yeah, you just mark. I mean standard you mark you get different bits of terrain different bits spread everywhere But you want to really go in at them so Let's do it. Where are they? Okay, we're gonna have, they're gonna try to shoot at us. Oh, there they are. Missiles. Oh god, there's a lot of them. Whoa! It's amazing. I mean it, it, it also handles so well as well. Ah! So you've got you know missiles that you can fire there. Whoa, you can bounce like that, which is always good fun. Oh, got hit. And um wait, let me Haha, <laughs> you shot yourself. Wait. Oh. There you go. Okay, I'm getting very damaged. Yeah, you got a, a machine gun there. Fiddle sticks. All right, there we go. All right, yeah, look at that. Oh, ooh, did you see how close that was? So yeah, sometimes it will be these turrets, these annoying turrets. Whoa. Sometimes it will be. Ah. Okay, getting shot now. Shoot me. You gotta keep uh, keep moving, keep on the move. You know, there's not just turrets. You get sometimes people, enemies, robots like the Geth, and uh, you also got like big. Like, I, I fought a big space squid the other day. 
Um, can't remember what they're called. But, but yeah, when um, when this came out, this is the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. They, I was so excited because it was. I was I was waiting for something like this. Oh, which entrance do I? There's two entrances. Entrance I. Three. Should we start with the one that it's definitely not? Because then I know that this might be. Oh. I'm away. Off we go. This is my team, my gang. Oh. So we'll start with this one. Uh, this is a great game to play with music, by the way. It's I've, I've recently been getting into on Spotify. There's like uh, Unreal Tournament 1999 music and stuff like that. I mean, I, I, it's great with with music. Oh, I didn't bring any good. I didn't bring my good decryption people. But yeah, anyway, I mean, this is a good lesson for you if you ever decide to play this game. Wow, really too low. Oh, because what I did is I, I I made myself like really strong, but I I also bring a I normally bring a decryptor with me. These, as I say, these are my fighters. So bring a good decryptor with you. And okay, where are you, my enemies? Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh, ah, uh, retreat. Move, move, move. Oh, you yeah. shot the fence. Move, 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 move. Oh, that was close. Oh, heal. I need to get into cover, guys. I wasn't expecting these turrets, to be honest. Try and flank him. Yeah, normally you'd, you'd get into cover, you know, and do a bit of that, but th they were moving around a little bit. Wait. So, yeah, yeah, this is just a side quest. This isn't the main thing, but side quests are so. I can't stress how important side quests are. Thanks to side quests, I've, I mean, I've, I've, I've done some story, but not nearly like. I'm still right at the beginning, but the amount of side quests I've been doing has just given me so access to so many cool things. It's a holy mook. Oh. This is exciting. The eye conduit. Uh oh. Uh, yep. Let's go. Run, 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 run. Oh, wait, no, we've got to keep... All targets down. Hmm, not yet. <laughs> got to keep taking them down. I mean, th actually, I, I didn't know this, but this mission is a little bit, um... A little bit of a, uh... Perimeter clear. Oh, a little bit of a... Uh, there's not really much in the way. I thought there'd be more enemies. Uh, there might be in the, in the, in the last one. Now we get spot. Think we're good, Commander. Yeah, let's go. So yeah, Mass Effect is a game which initially came out in 2007, long time ago, and um, I, I mean I missed it. I know I've, I've seen it advertised. I've got I've seen so many played it and talked about it. I've always seen it in game shops. I, I've known of its existence for a long time. And then obviously I had a little dip my toe in a little bit. But, I mean, it's definitely a game which I think... Um, oh! The lights of the optical mainframes flicker and die. The first of three computing clusters containing VR. Yes! Brilliant! So we've got to do the others. I hope it's not like that the whole time, because it'll be a little bit boring. Good. Let's, let's just get out of here. I can't, I'll come back to Luna when I've got the uh, uh, crypt with Because I just... I, I was actually expecting a, a bit of a, a fight, so I, I like... I bought a load of, you know, my tanks. But it, but yeah, I mean, this, this, this game's just blown me away. I mean, I've just, I love playing it, and I love the just the, the amount of effort that's gone into it, into making it. Like, it, oh yeah, what am I doing? Uh, like, it, ugh, they've just really. That's the one I tried already. It's just really um, started by a bunch of doctors, Bioware. They, uh, oh, wait, is that all the way? Let me check my map. Cool. Alright. 
so yeah let's go let's go let's go we'll go to the next one hopefully we'll we'll meet some life i mean it'll be a bit of a shame if uh the first uh, this first mission that i'm showing you which is uh, a, a, a side mission is hopefully it's not dull and dead okay so we'll go to the next one where there's hopefully some some life and uh yeah that, i mean they they gave it a lot of thought like they were not messing around when they made this they have put their heart and soul into this game and I mean, I like uh, the thing is we live in a world now of uh, remakes and rehashes. Now Everything's being re. Fun. Yeah, let's have. Yeah, you're right, Rex. Let's have some fun. Um, you know, we live in a world of remakes and rehashes. It's nice to. And sometimes I'm like, oh, just make, just be original, make something new. Um, but actually, in this, in this instance, in this case, I don't mind because. It's here we go. Oh, there. Oh, whoa. She shoot a missile at me. Are you crazy? Oh, whoa. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. All right. Um, have I got. Oh. Oh, wait. Okay. This is fully. The thing is, VI is virtual intelligence, so I knew it would be, it would be that, but I thought maybe it would be some life as well, and some geth or something. No. Oh, oops, might help if I shoot them. How are you guys doing? You good? All targets down. Yep. Oh god, but yeah, uh, oh god, this might not be the best example of a mission, but I'm going to hopefully uh, keep it for you guys. You don't, you don't. Uh, yeah, and some people love the bones of this game. I mean, there's some people, obviously, if you if you were lucky enough to have played it, uh, you're probably playing it again, I imagine. I know some, some people who are playing it again, and I would probably do the same. But I'm just so, I feel like one of the lucky ones, because I get to experience it like this, you know, and it's, yeah, it's it's great. Also, one of the cool things, one of the things I really appreciate about this title is the fact that it's tricky allows I hope you can hear over the uh oh um one of uh, the made me forget oh why is why have you put that down? Oh, cover yourself up. All right, come on. Guys, oh yeah, you can make you command your team to like go oh, on, I want you guys to stand back. Don't we need to get bl all blown up there? Oh, you guys made me forget what I was going to say. Not, not you watching. Moved them. Um, oh, yes. Ah, it's back. So, one of the things that is great about this is each game, um, whatever you do in one game, carries on progressing to the other game. Uh, a, bit like, uh, a bit like how Telltale and all that lot works. But this is a lot more gameplay -y and fun. So, I mean, no, I mean, not that Telltale isn't fun, of course. Not, but, like, but like it's a more uh, gameplay based uh, RPG and um, let's do it. there's no online component by the way so I do apologize I do, actually you know what I shouldn't say that because I'm not 100% about 2 or 3 so I somehow managed to be really good at avoiding spoilers for 2 and 3 um, I don't know how I did it but I have so I know very little, and I I know very little about what happens in the end. Woo! Okay, yeah, let's go to the last one. And I do know what I know. Of, I, mean, I know Andromeda does it. I won't spoil it because I don't want to spoil anything. But it does a clever thing that not retcons, but allows everything to let's just say slightly maybe reset, but not in a bad way. And you know, not in any sort of, but I mean, it, it's very clever what they do, but I, I will not give anything away about that because it's not fair it's on you guys. So, but, and hell, I don't even know how, the, how it ends anyway, that one. Am I going the right way? I'm going, I think I am. I think I'm going back on the right way. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I did, kicking myself for not bringing a good decryptor. Look at that. Decryption skill too low. 
Actually, wait a minute. Can I... Oh, yeah. So, you've got... I might as well show you all this stuff. You've got stuff like this. Um, wait, can you decrypt? No, these are all my fighters. Ah, wow. This is so bad. This is so bad. Um, don't worry. Don't worry. Call it a lesson learned. Bring it. I always bring a decryptor with me. I don't. I mean, I, don't, I just this time I was like, oh yeah, let's go all guns blazing. I should have known. It's you know, Luna. It's probably not going to be like super crazy. Um, but yeah, so we have got one one left to do. Uh, hopefully, like at some point, I can show you like live some more live missions that are a bit more exciting. Oh god, which one haven't I done? Oh god, I just got. I just confused myself. Was it this one? I think it was this one. Was it this one? Oh, crud. I just... Oh, I just totally... Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Nope, I did that one. <laughs> uh, oh, see? All that talking. And I was just getting myself like... Okay. This is the very last one. This is the, the ultimate, ultimate, ultimatano last one. Let's take the, let's take the Mako, like, let's not waste time. Uh, there are some habits that you land, habits? Blah! There are some planets that you land on that are uninhabitable, so like, you've got planets that are rough terrain, you've got storms, you've got fire, you've got snow, like, I mean, it, for an old game, for a game that's like, you know, pretty, fairly not new yeah they uh, the amount they managed to pack in is very very impressive uh, I'm definitely I mean I'm super impressed uh, is, this, is this one yeah there we go this is the last one okay so <laughs> Woo. okay this one might be a bit of a nightmare Oh, we got, we, yeah, we got them moving about. Oh, decryption skill too low. Stop reminding me. Okay. Oh, hello. How are you guys doing? You want me to open the shield? You want me to open the shield? Do you want me to open the shield? Ha. Wow. 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 Okay. Well, when we open that, guys, they're going to go straight for us. So, let's do this. Wait. So we need, need a barrier for you. You can, yeah, you can get your um, people to do. Now it gets fun. There we go. Oh no, wrong one. Fire in the hole. Throw a grenade at them. Oh my god. Oh my Jesus. Ah! Oh my god. Retreat! 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 Okay, I need to heal you guys. Guys, come here, come here, come here. Just come back, come back, come back. Throw another grenade. Throw a grenade again. Oh, jeez Louise. Oh, wow. That was fun. Woo! Sheesh! That was scary. Alright. That was, that was my delayed grenade. Just went up there. It's really dead, this one, isn't it? I'm so sorry. I, I actually, I, I genuinely picked this because I have not done this one before. So I was like, oh, this one. I'll pick another one. I'll, I'll find one that's hopefully got some juice, juice in it. Okay, let's burn this baby. Oh, you can chat to your mates. Look, hello. Ready. Yeah, Ashley's always ready. I won't get too much into the whole story because, I mean, it's like one, I think you should play it for yourself, and two, if you know the story, you know it. Three, I'm still getting to terms with it myself. So it's like, but it is, there is a whole thing to it. It's a whole story. It's a great plot. There's multiple choices. But basically, the cool thing about it is you can be a total douche, douchey, douche guy, or you can be a. You know, savior of mankind. There's a friend of mine the other day, a space Jesus. I thought it was quite funny. It's kind of amusing. Um, wow. Oh, is that more of you? Jeez, you guys don't let up. All right. Oh, right. Okay. 
Alright guys, so yeah, yeah, you command your people, get them to do stuff. I'm just gonna give, keep them, keep it simple for now, because I'm gonna have a shield boost. Okay, get ready, I'm gonna go. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my god, I trapped them door. Okay, no, I'm not. Firing missiles at me. Okay, this is the last one. Yeah, Mass Effect Legendary Edition is fully fitted up, by the way. It has Game 1, Game Mass Effect 2, Mass Effect 3, and over 40 DLC, which I haven't touched the DLC, because I haven't completed anything. Um, I'm still on the first one. Burst of white noise, all over frequencies, nearly deafens you. Oh, a bit like earlier. Uh, the hair suits, oh, sorry, hard suits heads up display interprets a series of zeros and ones. Zero one zero 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 one zero zero. <laughs> They're repeating again and again and again. Blinking frequencies and lights turn on the VI. Finally, ah, flicker and die. Cool. Specialization class will replace your base class in talents in your squad screen. Huh? Talents wreck your base class. Transfer over to your specialization class. Get to your squad screen to view. Oh, okay, cool. That's new. Oh, 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 look at this. Sheesh. I did. I don't know. Blah. Okay, this is all new to me, by the way. Specialization class. Highly trained. Increased health. Increased commando. Oh, oh, choices, choices, choices. Uh, do you know what? I can boost my weapons with mods, but I feel like having health and protection and barriers and shields would be good in tight spot. That put me on the spot right there, by the way. I was uh, I not making a video. I would probably decide. No, I, think, I think that's a good shout. Yeah, uh, if it, if I'm not, if that's not a good shout, yell at me, shout at me, call me, whatever you want, show me, yeah, go for it. But like, I think, I think that's good. Cause, oh yeah, because that's the point. Just to show you, you can in game wrong one. You if you go to equipment, wait what? Oh, take all. If you go to equipment, look, you see there, you can uh, modify. Uh, look on the left, not the right. You can modify um, your guns, uh, and give them those three green green uh, images that you can see uh, uh, sort of mods you can add to them various ammo things boosters and things like that uh, anyway but yeah uh, also on your wheel oh on your weapon wheel you've got uh, your team what your team have there on the left and what you, you know on the right and then what you have down here you can have uh, snipers pistols shotguns assault rifles now I understand that Apparently, initially, when the game came out, it was you—you you were only uh, restricted to what class you were. That's all you could have. You couldn't actually have any other class. But now you can mix, mix and match. You can use other weapons. But obviously, it's better to still have your class. Like, like as in, if you prefer using a certain weapon, definitely keep it. Um, definitely keep it. Uh, so, like, say, say you prefer using machine. Uh, assault rifles boost your assault rifles so like like uh, for example you know I mean I'm still working on mine I need to spend those points but I need to think about it and work it out but like you know boost what you really want to use I don't really use shotguns with Shepard um, boost these uh, and things like charm and intimidate those are important as well because they give you extra speech bubbles that can help you uh, in certain missions and get out of certain situations um Anyway, that's for another thing. We're, we're, we're just keeping it real. So, wait, did I did I do the mission? Sorry. Let's have a little... Let's have a wee look. I think I did. We are on... Pro, no. Wait, where is it? Uh, it's gone. Okay. That's everything. Wait, no, no. Let's just check. Hang on. Oh, yeah. Square. Return to the Normandy. So any time that you're out there, you're lost, you might be like, ah, what do I do? Return to the Normandy. And that's your your home base, your your base of operations. And um, here we go. Let's just see if we get any... Do we get any debrief? Do we get any debrief from that? I was having so much fun that I kind of... Oh, oh yeah, assignments. That's what it. That's what I was on before, anyway. 
Oh no, it is. Rogue Six is done. Oh, it's just it moved down there. So these are all done ones. Once it once all your side quests are done, they'll they'll be they'll appear down there. Uh, and but yeah, it's a look, I mean, as you can see, they do build up. I mean, it does. When I initially started playing it, I was like, oh my god, this is like she is gonna get a little bit much. But actually, it it. Re there, some of them are really fun, really fun, and I've really enjoyed doing them. And I love like not knowing what's going to happen, and like maybe they'll come back to bite you, you know, later. You'd have to see, but I'm going to keep playing it. But anyway, that was about it. I'm just going to keep that short, really. But that was just uh, one assignment, and uh, and okay, sorry, uh, and yeah, I, I hope you've enjoyed that, that was just a little taste, I'll try and pick a more exciting level next time, but I hope you enjoyed watching that, thank you so much, uh, that was a bit of Mass Effect, and uh, until the next time, bye bye.